hello everyone welcome back hope you all are doing great guys today in this video i'm going to discuss one scenario based network engineer interview question and this is my scenario as you can see in my scenario there are three switches switch 1 switch 2 switch 3 and these all are multi layer switches right layer 3 switches link between switches are configured as trunk and these all switches are in same vtp domain that means vlan database is centralized vlan 10 20 30 is present in the vlan database of all the switches and svi for vlan 10 is created on switch number 1 and you can see the ip address of svi interface 10.1.1.100 svi for vlan 20 is created on switch number 2 and here is the ip 20.1.1.100 and svi for vlan 30 is created over here on switch number 3 with ip 30.1.1.100 okay hope scenario is clear three switches all are connected with each other link is configured as trunk all the switches are in vtp domain all the switches are layer 3 switches and svi you can see here right svi for vlan 10 is on switch number 1 svi for vlan 20 is on switch number 2 and svi for vlan 30 is on switch number 3 question to you is this this pc pc1 who is using ip address from the 10 vlan 10 subnet 10.1.1.1 and the gateway ip address 10.100 can communicate with pc2 in vlan 20 or pc3 in vlan 30 or not or not can these all lan users in vlan 10 20 30 can communicate or not if you are thinking yes they can communicate so no guys they can not communicate even i can verify it right here if i am going to show you my laptop screen then you will see this pc cannot communicate why this pc cannot communicate that is a question by the way right i am not going to share the answer now see here i have access of all the pc on switch number 1 i can show you the svi so interface brief so ip interface brief and you can see vlan 10 interface is up their protocol is also up and so vlan brief user is in vlan 1/0/0/1 port number is in vlan 10 similarly on switch number 2 also you can verify the ip so ip interface brief you can see svi for vlan 20 is created and ip address is 20.100 and so vlan brief and user pc 0/2 port is in vlan 20 similarly on switch number 3 also you can check that so ip interface brief you can see svi for vlan 30 is created over here on switch number 3 with ip this one and so vlan brief you can see pc is in vlan 30 here okay done now if i will take you to pc1 for the verification here you can check uh, arp table you can arp is not there you can check so ip all and you can see the ip configuration ip is 10.1 and gateway ip address is configured as 10.100 if i am going to ping the gateway 10.1.1.100 you can see ping is working if i will take you to pc number 2 and uh, ip so ip all so pc2 is also using ip address from vlan 20 submit ip is 20.1 and gateway is 20.100 correct can i ping the gateway 20.1.1.100 Hundred, yes, you can see ping is working. But if I am going to ping PC two from PC one, ping will not work. Ping twenty dot one dot one dot one, and you can see destination host unreachable. Ping is not working. Now you need to tell me the answer of this uh, scenario best question. Like, what is the issue? Why these LAN users are not able to communicate? And solution. How you will make reachability between all the uh, VLAN users? Right. solution for this particular scenario and guys if you want to master the enterprise network if you have dream to become the expert in ccn and ccnp want to learn each and everything very carefully then i am starting a new batch of ccna plus ccnp from 18th of this month right this is for those like who are not able to understand let's say this scenario even this is ccna level scenario but in case if you are not able to understand then 
110% you should register yourself for upcoming combo live course and within 3 to 4 months you can master the enterprise network you can master NA and NP right after that these types of scenario will be very easy for you like to understand or to troubleshoot the issues okay by the way here let me know your answer in the comment section why pc1 and 2 is not working and how to make communication between all the vlans that's all for today we'll meet soon in next video till then stay safe bye bye guys